All right, good morning and welcome to Bod and Pop Thrift. My name is Tom and I'm a full-time eBay reseller and a stay-at-home dad for my five kids. If that kind of content seems interesting to you, click the subscribe button and follow us for the uh, journey. Uh, we're going to get into some what solds, so let's go out to the storeroom. Checking the dinosaur's ears. You can check his eyes. You can check his heartbeat. You don't have to check his heartbeat. Now. You already checked his heartbeat. All right, so this is the storeroom. It's a little bit of a disaster, but it's where I keep my inventory for my eBay business. So let's get in there and find the things that sold. This is the wall of shoes. And at the very top is a pair of Carolinas that I picked up at a thrift store for $20. I've had them for about two weeks and they sold for $1.25. Look at these bad boys. They still have the toe guard over the toe, the price tag. These are dead stock. And they are probably from the early 90s if they're not older than that. I do really well selling work boots um, and Carolinas are not, they're not Red Wings. They're not a national brand that everybody knows. Um, I mean, they are a national brand, but they're just not as popular. I personally wear Carolina work boots and I love them. So I knew that these would sell quick because they have a really quality product and those are vintage dead stocks. So uh, if you find Carolina boots, comp them, they're probably going to do pretty well. Next on our list is a singing Christmas tree. Picked this guy up the day after Halloween. The, our Goodwill was moving out mm, a big chunk of their Christmas stuff. And this thing opens its mouth and sings. It sold on the uh, global shipping program. Uh, I don't remember what it sold for. Not a ton. I think I only paid $3 for it. No, I, I paid too much for it, I thought at the time. I paid almost $6 for it. May not actually be next on the list, but I know that right here on the bottom, this guy sold. This guy sings Al Alan Jackson voices this animatronic Santa, uh, and he sings Holly Jolly Christmas. And this thing is, I wouldn't say it's new in the box, but it's practically new inside a, little, a box with a little smashed corner. Um, had a $75 original price tag. I want to say we paid six bucks. And like I said, we've had it since the day after Halloween when I bought a bunch of Christmas stuff at Goodwill when they were moving out all their bulk Christmas. For a long time, I was buying lots of remotes when I find them for 50 cents, 75 cents a dollar. And I was doing okay with them, but it just kind of became a hassle to find the right remote at the right time. Hmm. Oh, this isn't a TV VC. This is a for a TV VCR combo. I was thinking if it was a DVD combo, I could use it. But anyway, it's not. Uh, this remote sold. I know where I got it. I paid 75 cents for it and I've had it for probably a year. I, I have slowed down significantly on picking up loose remotes unless I comp it or like if it's Sony um, or it's for a DVD VCR combo, um, but I've slowed down quite a bit. I don't just pick up every one that's cheap. This is what I don't like to do. I didn't realize I had another pair of shoes on the list. And so I didn't, uh, grab them when we were over here a second ago. These Brooks, I, I thought these would sell quick. They've got that peacock feather. They've got a really nice colorway and they're in really nice shape. Uh, they, I paid two, three dollars for them. And they sold for $31.99, I think, free shipping. I thought they would sell quicker than they did. Uh, they've been listed for probably six months or so. All right, and aside from the storeroom, which is just on the other side of that wall, uh, I have this shelf, which is in my actual car garage. And it's kind of overflow inventory. Not that I need... Not that I have so many items listed that that garage is full. I have so many unlisted items that that garage is totally full. 
So I need to get through that. I need to get through the death pile and stop buying, but that's probably not gonna happen. So I'm gonna just have to figure out a more efficient way of doing things. But in K11, look at these things. These are not listed. I picked them up the day after Halloween, 50% off. So I paid 10 bucks for these two and I'm super excited. I think they may have made a quick cameo in a video, but I just stuck them in that box to get them out of the way of something else. In K11, I have these two little tin toy cars. I picked these up from a local picker. I paid five bucks for both of them. They're in really bad shape. Like this one is just kind of beat to death and it's supposed to be, I think either pullback trigger or spark. It's missing some kind of guts. These are 50s Japanese tin toy cars. This one, I think it's missing the whole front axle and wheels and everything. The, so I thought that they were a little more valuable than they are. I paid $5 for them. They sold for $9.90 plus shipping. The shadow is no good. Not that you guys are all that into seeing my beautiful face. Maybe I should just hide back here and then you can't see me. Down here in B12, B12, bingo! There's this, uh, also sold on the global shipping program. It's just a, uh, Older, co heavy cotton men's pearl snap work shirt. It's this old Sears tag. I don't remember how much it sold for. Uh, I want to say in the $25 range, maybe plus shipping. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. This heavy cotton um, work shirt, I think of them as like Carhartt style. It's not duck cloth like a Carhartt jacket, um, but it's... I don't know how you say the word. I suspect it's chamois. Chamois is probably some uh, roots in some foreign language that I'm totally mispronouncing it. So I'll put it on the screen. Chamois. Chamois. So that's how you say it. But that word is a keyword for work shirts and work shirts that are pearl snap and either that or uh, a particular kind of flannel. You can do super well with pearl snap work shirts. Uh, you like I paid a dollar for that shirt. I probably had it for three or four months. Here in a box that used to have Revere wear in it, we have a keyboard I paid a dollar for in the last three weeks. This is what I call a clacky keyboard. It's the 90s keyboard that the keys stick up really high and can stick down if uh, they're not in good shape. This is not a key brand. It's not IBM. It's not Apple. It's uh, Amstrad and it sold for 50 bucks probably in two weeks something that I've started doing and it's probably not a super good policy I take these shopping bags and I fold clothes into them and then that's my home goods and Marshall's is my uh, SKU identifier like DI3 so inside this home goods bag this and one sweatshirt which is Michigan Wolverines. <laughs> this box, we have this little saddlebag. Um, really, I mean, for a saddlebag, it's pretty small. It's Road River, something like that. River Road, that makes more sense. Leather saddlebag. I found it at a thrift store for a buck. Um, I probably had it listed for two weeks and it sold, it was cheaper than I thought it would be. I wanna say it was 20 bucks plus shipping, um, but I'll put up the sold listing. So leather saddlebag for a dollar, I'd definitely pick that up. And right next to the Marshalls bag, we have this clear tote, cleverly marked as clear tote, as my, in, my uh, inventory skew. This has, these are 560s, 3634. 560s over the summer were the best selling brand, best selling number on Levi's. I haven't sold a pair of 560s in a while and I have a, quite a few listed, so I don't know if they're falling off or what, but uh, these have been listed for quite some time and I don't remember what they sold for. So here's the sold listing. Shoved into this box, BA17. This has only been listed three or four days. Um, it's this vintage all over print Santa Claus sweatshirt. It's even got this like house on both arms. I picked this up for a dollar a couple months ago at a 
yard sale and I waited until last week to list it. Not that I, not that I would have intentionally not listed it, but when I saw it in unlisted stuff, I'm like, I need to get that listed right now. And so I listed it, it sold in about a week. Two more items to pull, I think. They're both in here, or I don't know where one of them landed. This tote has a bunch of VHS tapes in it. One of them should be a Nintendo tape. Well, that's the other one. That's a Pepsi. This one I wasn't totally certain was in here. Pepsi belt buckle. And how to score more points on your Nintendo games. So this I picked up for not very much, 50 cents. And it didn't sell for a lot, but it's super neat. It's the kind of thing that I like to keep. This I know in my store. I like to keep it in my store. This I know I paid $2 for pe vintage Pepsi belt buckle. And both of these got listed on the same day, probably a week, a week and a half ago. It is a tote full of stuff, everything that sold on the Monday before Thanksgiving 2021. This is the box that I use when I put all of this stuff into packaging and I set it out in the, on the front porch for the mailman to take. Then this is the box that I use for the package to hold the package. Well, I think this is where we're going to start the second part of the video, which is a little bit weird. That shadow's freaking me out. Um, the, uh, I just went to run an, uh, an errand. There's a futon in the back. I won that on high bid auction, but it's not to sell. It's for keeps. But this is Washington, a town I don't really come to very often. And they have a Goodwill that I hit. When I hit it, I do fairly well. So we're going to run in here. I don't need anything. I don't really want to buy much. But if I find some home runs, then we'll get them. And then I'll show you the couple of things that I was able to get at a thrift store uh, after I picked the boys up from school. Converse, their American flag, stripes on the outside, and the stars are on the tongue. And all the ones that were that way comped over $50. Now, these are a men's size four, women's size six, so they probably aren't going to carry quite that much value. But for six bucks, I figure I can probably get $30 plus shipping. So those are worth picking up. I looked and looked and looked and did not find anything else worth picking up except for that bomber man, but then the disc ended up not being in there. The Primal Rage game. I don't know what I was thinking of, but that one wasn't really worth picking up, especially just the manual. Even though it was a quarter, it's just not worth messing with. So I probably could have made some money, but who knows when and how long it would take. And it just isn't worth messing with. This spotlight's killing you guys. Is that better? Um, all right, let's go back to the house. All right, so I let the battery die on my phone. So we're just gonna have a couple of minutes here. I wanna get through what I got at the thrift store. Judah has an after-school activity, and so I had to pick him up 30 minutes after I picked up the other boys. There's a, a st there's a, one or two thrift stores really close. Only one was open on Monday. So we went there, and I spent $21, and she threw in the video games. Not that they're worth much, but two Assassin's Creed's, and I don't remember what this one was. Face Breaker, disc only. This is a new open box Dell uh, 720, PhotoSmart 720, I believe. Yeah, and it comps at like 50 bucks. Thought these were neat. Valvoline. These are these are floor mats for a oil change place. I don't know how many there is. If 
I had to guess, I would say 250. I paid five bucks for the box. And I thought, there are guys who want that hanging up in their uh, man cave, their garage. There are guys who would want them for other things and I can probably sell 10 in a roll for $20 free shipping. And the first time I sell one, I'm in, in the profit. I'm excited about this. I think this is gonna be one of those long tail, uh, big money eventually trickling in over a long time. Like a Kevin the Commonwealth Picker kind of thing. These two things real quick. This is an eight ounce Budweiser uh, can. This is something I pick up every time I see it. Pilot stapler. Uh, it's just a 40s, 50s industrial stapler. And they sell for $15 uh plus shipping so the market's come up quite a bit on these you can see that there's a hundred listed and over a hundred sold so these are over a hundred percent sell through rate don't pass on these ace brand staplers because there's money to be made there's a couple of different models too this is a rotisserie and i was sitting on the shelf semi put together And I was like, what is that plug? Well, this is the plug that is for the motor. And it says Faberware uh, Rotisserie on it. And so I remember, I think Kayla Homeschool Picker picked one up and mentioned how good they were. And the plug by itself sells for 20 bucks. I bet that motor comp's pretty high, but the whole thing is can be as high as $120. It's got a lot of accessories with it. Pretty excited about that. We got the shoes, Converse shoes tonight too. So pretty good day after the kids went to school. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and commenting and subscribing down there. Um, we'll catch you next time when you wanna see something else about how to do eBay and be a stay at home dad, I guess.